What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm back out on the terrace and I'm going to bring you my choice for Cuban cigar of the week. And this week I've gone for the Cueva Tradicionales. This beautiful four and three fourths by 42 ring gauge. Favoritos, sort of perfecto pointed end cigar. Beautiful mid-brown wrapper there. Just so well constructed. That tapered end is just beautifully, beautifully bound there. Oh my God, citrusy notes coming off the wrapper, sort of lemon peel and lime peel, citrusy notes there. Very well constructed. With these, you will find that when you cut them, you may need to cut them a little bit further just to open up that drawer. But as you progress through the cigar, the drawer will loosen up. First time on this Vitola for me, I've had a few of the other Cuebas, the uh, Divinos, the smaller one, one of my favorites, just a perfect size cigar, a perfect go-to. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get this one cut and lit. Let's see what the first third's got. So creep them away through the first third on this one. That citrusy note that was on the wrapper has continued in that first third. There's also some earthier notes in there and some nuttier notes. Almost, um, almost like dry roasted nutty notes coming through. I've decided to not cut the end off. Some people do on cigars of this Vitola. So as you kind of progress into that first third, you start off with quite an intense flavor, but then as it opens up into a more fuller ring gauge, it does lighten up a little bit. So. That initial note of that citrus was quite strong, but it's it stepped back a little bit. That earthy note is in there, like I said, and that nutty note, they're all just coming together incredibly well. Quite a nice draw on this one. A little bit of resistance, but not too hard. You haven't got to work for it at all. Beautiful so far. So let's see what that middle third has got for me today. So coming up to the midpoint on this one, the flavors have continued very consistent there from the first third. So I'm still getting that kind of citrusy note. However, that has slightly switched up and that's become a little bit more, um, a bit more of a lemon grass than a lemon peel. Very, very interesting there that, that that note has kind of progressed into something very, very different, but very much the same. Beautiful, beautiful notes. That nuttiness is still in there and that earthy note. There's a little bit of woodiness coming through as well, almost cedar, just in the very background, just at the end of the finish, but holding really well. That ash is just holding that shape ever so well. I quite like it when you, you get those sort of tapered ends. If you like that very tip of it and it keeps that ash shape all the way through. So far, so good. Let's see what the final third's got. So coming through the final third on this one, those flavors have continued all the way through. That lemongrass, that nuttiness, that earthiness. There's also been an, an, an introduction of almost a brown sugar. And it's just sort of floating around on my palate, just adding a little bit of sweetness, but whole, wholesome sweetness. Just very, very nice. I like that kind of brown sugar note when you get that from those caramelizations in the leaves. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. Amazingly well priced. If you've not tried this before, I suggest that you do. Head over to the website right now. It's cigars.com. That's cgars.com. If you've liked this video, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And let me know in the comment section what my next Cuban cigar of the week should be. Until next time, I hope you're all keeping safe out there. I'm going to enjoy the weather. Take care of yourselves. Peace. <music>